Paul Harbich, the Senior Vice President of Exploration. The exciting part for me of the 2020-20 strategy is the 20% growth in reserves over the next five years, where we're looking at taking the current reserve base of 42.8 million to 50 million ounces through organic growth and exploration success within our own portfolio of operations. To undertake an exploration strategy, in my mind, you need a business tool. And that business tool that I've implemented at Gold Corp is the resource triangle. So basically, you've got a mine at the top of the triangle and a whole series of exploration tar targets at the base. So as you start completing exploration on various targets, they're either going to move up or they're going to move out. And therefore, it's essential that you continue to do generative work that ensures a constant supply of new targets to the base of the triangle. In the next five years, through mining, we're going to be depleting our reserves by 12 million ounces. So in order to get to our 50 million ounce target, we've not only got to replace that depletion, we've also got to grow by a further 8 million ounces. So where's the 8 million ounces going to come from? Our first opportunity is the Dome Century project in the Porcupine district of Timmins. There we've got 5.5 million ounces in resources, and the aim is to convert that into in two portions, three and a half million ounces this year and a further one and a half million ounces in 2018. The second opportunity is we have six million ounces of resources which are drilled out to reserve status but require eco-tails technology at both Penasquito and Pablo Vejo. And then we have very exciting exploration opportunities in our newest camps of Cerro Negro, Coffee and Eleanor. In terms of our greenfields exploration, while we're not undertaking greenfields exploration per se, our strategy is to take toeholds in junior companies that are in the right geological jurisdictions and the companies have the technical teams that have the capabilities of making discoveries that meet Gold Corp's hurdle rates.